Hey friend, how are you? It's so great to have you with me today. Uh, when you come in, if you do not mind, pop in a comment in that says, hey, I'm here, I'm watching from, or I can't wait to see the rest of your butterflies or something along those lines. Oh, I think I nabbed my husband's quizzle from the back room. <clears throat> I've been trying to not take his pencils and leave my pencils in my room and his pencils in his room because we always end up in the other one's room needing writing utensils and not able to find them. Okay, so yesterday I showed y'all this and then I glued these guys on last night. I couldn't, this one looks like it slipped as it glued. Oh well, it's got kind of a shadow there now. But they're hanging here on my pretty big red and i just love the way the ombre one here came out it, my monarch it just looks so good it looks so good i like it i'm tickled 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 at it so if you don't mind saying hey how you doing and letting me know where you're watching from okay hang on i gotta get some brushes put up because i know they're sitting out here after I finished yesterday, I started doing some practicing on some for some more flowers that, like I, I've, some of you know that I'm going, I'm have a due date to be finishing certain things by so that I can become a certified Donna Dewberry instructor, which I would love to do. But at this point, if it doesn't happen this time around, I'm I'm just not sure what I'm gonna do because financially and time wise, I'm I'm kind of time strapped lately. All right, so we have these guys. Um, I have a picture over here on the sideboard, on, on my side monitor, of an orange one and a... Uh, I've got several other ones that I've got pulled up that I think I want to do. I think I want to make this one kind of a zebra one, but the wings are kind of funny for that. So I'm not real sure. I'm just, I'm trying to do some different kind of butterflies, not just your same old, same old, same old, same old. Um, but then again, they typically fly in little groups together, don't they? If they're together, they're together. And if they're not, they're not. So... Oh, that's kind of a pretty, but they've got weird shapes on the wings. All righty. Well, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of roll with. Um, this one was a brown. and Okay, let me move these colors over here. Where I, I cleaned all the colors off that I had. I left all of my color shifts over here in case I wanted them. Hey, Jeannie, are you taking the course now? I am taking the one stroke home one at home. You're certified one stroke, one stroke certified instructor in drawing and design. Um, I am just doing the level one certified thing at home. Uh, it was on sale at the end of February and we caught it and I've just, we've had so many things going and we find, I didn't finally get my kit until early April and it was like, you know, the very last week in March, early April. And it was kind of like, and then you find until June 21st. I'm like, wait, 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 I don't have time. I, I'm just now getting all this. I don't have an actual DVD player, so my husband finally went and bought me a DVD player so we could hook it up so I could watch any of the DVD instructions that came with it. It was just, it was interesting for me. It was interesting. So you're in your sewing room, huh? That's always a fun place to hang out, too. I love to be in my sewing room when I can be in my sewing room. Okay, so what are we going to do on these three little guys? I've got one that has ooh, a lot of like blue up in here and then it fades into a medium purple and then a lighter purple so I think what I might do is some blue right here and then do a black edge on it and then it's got white dots on it so I think that's what I'm going to do with this one I just need a darker blue than I have on the table I 
think this may be the shade of blue I'm looking for right here. This one is Royal Blue by Anita's Acrylic. But a lot of times when I put it next to some of the other blues I've got, it looks a little more purple. Just go slow and take your time. Well, I'm working on going slow and taking my time, but I'm not the best at uh, when I've got a time limit being able to slow down and just in that and I'm gone for about three of the four week the three weeks of the time that I've got left uh next week we're out of town and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for those weeks as far as lives and stuff and then uh the uh The next week we are back in town, packing up, getting ready for me and Zoe to go to camp. And then the next week we're back in town, getting re cleaned up and packed up and getting everything ready for another week of camp. And that's the week everything's due as far as the, the Donna Dewberry stuff. So I've kind of got to figure out and get it all done really quickly. I can do it. I know I can. It's just a matter of if I can get it done and grade worthy, passing grade worthy. Can y'all even see that? This is so small, it's hard to do. It's hard to hold on to, period, much less do it where anybody can see it. And I've got just this little bitty fine liner brush because I wanted it to have, it's, it's a blue. It doesn't look very blue against these purples. It looks like it's just a darker purple, but it's a blue. But it's okay, because I like the way that's kind of doing. It blends it pretty well. I'm kind of liking that one. Okay, so this one goes. Okay, now they all fit in different spots on this. I'm going to move my paint palette before I get paint all over everything. On the board, we have this one, and then there's going to be the yellow. The This yellow one's going to come over here. I don't think I can get it up high enough for everybody to see all of them. Okay. There we go. Now I'm trying to get it where y'all can actually see them all. I have to do it sideways either way. Okay, so there's one right here that's medium sized, kind of the red sized. Then we have, there's a red size, that same size, and then there's this one that was red that I could still put this one down here or I could put it up here. I haven't decided where I'm gonna put it yet. I figured I'd put a couple up here and then a few down here, but I they could all go glued in here and look pretty, right? And then all the 3D ones could be underneath and I could paint all the ones on the top. What do we think? Would that be good? Which way looks better? <laughs> because this one's already kind of going to need to go down here. I think I'm going to go ahead and do all these down here and then I'll just color these in up here. Still have to figure out how to do waterfalls if I'm going to do the waterfall up here. And then I'm going to swap these around so that I don't put paint on the palette. And then I'll paint those butterflies. I did play just a little bit more with my big blue butterfly after we got off line because he needed a little bit of help there. All right. So I know there are some people watching in the Paint and Soul Creative journey right now. There's a live going on in there on a cool little wallet thing um, for pictures, I think. And I have a couple of other friends that are live. So let me tell you, you've got some variety in what you want to do and see uh going on today all right i'm going to add a little bit of black here 
My goal is to finish these three today and then come back tomorrow. And I might go ahead and do the dreamer while nobody's watching because I wasn't going to do it, but I didn't want to do it. And then have people be all like, you are going to do that with us. And then... All right. All righty here. Philip sounds like he's on the hold with customer service somewhere in the back room. I hope y'all don't hear the hold music in the background. And I did go around the outside of all of them with black paint last night after I got off the live. I just wanted to make sure that they were all kind of ready for that. That Just the little bitty details that we didn't want to necessarily have to sit and wait, wait through on a live. Because it can take a little bit of time to do some of these. And we don't necessarily want to spend loads of our time doing it. You, you, you allow us a few minutes of your day and allow us to be in on your day for a few minutes. We don't want to take advantage of that. And I don't want to take advantage of that. Well, I say we, and it's me. I don't want to take advantage of the fact that you've allowed me into your time in your space today. And I don't want to waste it or feel like I'm wasting your time with going around the outside edges of a project that I could have done ahead of time and just said, hey, by the way, if you're doing something like this, you might want to hit the edges with black after you get your base coat down and then it'll go way faster. Because I just, I don't feel like I don't necessarily dislike it when you're showing me the whole of everything, but at the same time, if there's something you could do to save a little bit of time and make it go a little faster for you, then I appreciate those two, those moves too. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of give it a thin black edge around this wing. So, I've got a little bit of black all the way around it. Okay, and this one has right in here, the body's half black and half white. And it looks like right in here, it has a little black dot here and a little black dot there. So, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to get some white and we're going to do some white dots. So white up here. Okay. Now. I'm going to keep... little light dots in there and it looks like it was little rows but not like perfect and then there were a few that kind of came out here so I'm gonna put some more little white dots and again, yesterday I used a stylus for this. This particular brush has got a nice sharp tip on it right now, so I'm just kind of using it. If I tap too hard, it definitely does a really fat little 
live there, which is not my favorite, but I'm trying really hard to just not tap too hard. And it does have a few of those bigger white dots, like right in here, right in here. And there were a couple of slightly bigger ones here, so I'm not going to freak out if I do have some. I'm just, I'm, I'm not perfectly imitating the, the butterfly. I just like it to look as close to real as I can. I love to take photos of, of nature and what's going on around me. I haven't taken my camera out in a really long time. And it really should. But there's my little bitty one. I'm going to hold it up here so you guys can see it a little better. What do you think? Thinking if it'll focus, it'll be great. Come on and focus. These cameras. There is no autofocus. There we go. That's a little bit better. You can see all the dots and the color changes and stuff. But yeah, that one, that one I think is very cute. And I may paint a little one like that over here on our, on our board. Now let's see, where was the red one? It's not really red. It's actually a burnt orange on that one. So let's see if I can find a more red butterfly. Do I even want to do red? Do I want to do it and just leave it with, do it similar to a, an actual butterfly, but without the, that's pretty. That's got some red and black in it. All right, we may do that. This one has red on it, but it also has some black. So let's get the body all black like it said it has on there. Get our thorax and abdomen. They're not very pronounced on these pieces, so it's like it's just one big piece here. And then we've kind of got... Hmm... And we'll go ahead and come from we'll come back over here and kind of do similar. So I All right, we're bringing the black down, and then we're going to have some other streaks, and then we're going to kind of have some black coming up in here. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just kind of pull it in and give it that little wispy look there in the, as it comes in. And then, 
plug that one in from over there. And I don't think I have my buttermilk or soft yellow of any sort over here. So give me one second. Now, last night I mixed my bright yellow with some white to come up with this guy's original color over here. But I think what I'm going to do is mix some buttermilk with a little bit of banana cream to kind of yellow up the softer one right now. Because I don't necessarily want it to be that same exact color. But I do want it to be something close. I'm not going to mix this one up enough. drip of the yellow in there just to give it a little more color. Okay. Now. We're going to kind of come up from the bottom and into our black a little bit. Let me get it nice and sharp. We're kind of pulling from that edge and pulling it in. Pulling from the edge and pulling it kind of in. We'll come around to that side and we'll kind of pull from that edge and kind of pull it in. I want it, I can go back over it with the black and come back out as best I can, but I kind of wanted it to kind of feather in as best it could so that when I feather it back out the other way with the black, when we come back to it with the black, we've got some of that on it. Kind of trying to cover some of the base color down here of the red with Some of our color here. All right, and now we're going to come up and do some yellow toward the black here. And we're hitting it with some color there. I'm probably going to have to go back over this with the black just to get it to do quite the shaping there that I want. But we're trying to kind of have it black dripped into the yellow and the yellow dripping into the black kind of streaking into each other. But it'll be all right. I'll get it figured out. That's what we're here for, right? To learn, to do things, and figure out what we can figure out. All right. I've got the black coming down this way. Of the black and come back to this corner for just a second and kind of whip it around the edges there. Trying to add just a little bit of sharpness to the to the ends going in. Gonna grab 
grab some more of that yellow mix that I did. Kind of lay it a little bit more. Right there. There you go. There we go. And now I'm going to come down here to the bottom. I'm going to grab just a little bit more of this while I've got it on my brush and kind of trying to thicken this up just a little bit over that red where it's really starting to show through. Because this is a really light color. I'm going to dry this off really well because right here at the, the metal it can't seems like it's got and I, for whatever reason, cannot think of what it's called right now. I think it's a hosel, but I could be wrong. Feral. That's it. All right. I don't know if y'all can see that well or not, but... I've got it where it kind of feathers in on the blacks and on the whites. On the black and on the yellow there where they're feathering into each other really well. And I think that's what I'm going to kind of... Get the edge of the black and have it kind of... Feather into that a little bit. And have another little spot over here. All right. Dry this off. There, we got it. There we go. Now I think I've got it just about right for me. I think he actually has some black down the inside of this wing here. Down this part of the wing here. So let me kind of get it. Yeah, I think that's about got what we want. There's a couple of veins in here that you can kind of see. Let me just kind of Back a few out there that way we've got them. I think there's the next one for today. Now you ever been live? I'm live now. Are you? Yes. Sweet. Yes. And I'm going to use if I can find what I did with the brown. There's the brown I want going to use some brown because I don't think it's black on this one. It looks very dark but not black. And if I need it to go a little bit darker I can add just a touch of black to this burnt umber. 
but I want to see how it's going to do on this one. Let me move to that picture. I really like this one, so I think I'm going to do it this way. It has some brown around our tips here. Let's see if we can do some of these veins without it being obnoxious. Okay, I do believe it had it a little bit darker up here. So those were kind of the veins that were in the wing. And I almost think I should have done them in a different color. But we shall see. Okay, the body and the oh. I just stuck it in the paint. I knew I was going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do our body brown. There is a little bit of yellow on this body, but I'm just going to go ahead and go with the whole brown. Pull up some of those veins so that maybe the veins can be seen and it won't be so. It almost made it look a little striped when I was looking at the picture there, the colors on it. Not perfectly striped. Does that make sense? And then this has really thick brown border on it. Really thick brown border. Did I paint a purple one? Yes, Connie, I painted at least one purple one. I did a little bitty one purple. Because I don't know why I did the littlest one purple. Doesn't make any sense at all to me. But I just, I'd randomly pick them up and put color on them. And so that's the one that ended up purple. I'm thinking I may have to color one of the bigger ones on the circle in with some of the purple and do another one slightly bigger of that same coloring. Kind of trying to work on, okay, let me put a little of this in there. Maybe I'll like that better. I'm not digging this one. It may end up whited out and <laughs> it may end up whited out and purpled. I painted in purple. I don't know. I don't dislike it, dislike it. I'm just not as 
impressed with the colors. Let's put it that way. And this one needs some bigger brown dots. Down here. And I think this needs to be a darker brown, so I'm going to add just a little bit of black to a little bit of this burnt umber here. It was just not really. I didn't want it black. Not enough for a number in there with it. It's not black, but it's a really dark, dark brown in this picture, and it's just not wanting to. Shade in quite right, and I'm like, come on, you can do this. You can do it. You can color in the way I want you to. Because I am the boss and you're going to obey. <laughs> Alright, so now that I've got a slightly darker brown, I think I may need to See about hitting this upper edge with that slightly darker brown. I'm trying to make sure I've got enough to do the, the upper edge the way I want. Because this upper edge and that lower edge have that really pretty it's a really pretty dark brown. And then it was uh, a really light yellow buttercream kind of dot down here. And he has some darker brown dots. Yeah, here. Okay, he's looking better now. Yep, that one's looking better now. Please tell me I was doing that where you guys could see it. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to how close the camera was on it today. All right, so we have, I'm going to move these off of here and I'm going to move my palette. Otherwise I will definitely stick it on, get paint all over the wrong spot. So here's the butter, for the big board. I'm going to have to lift that up a little bit, I guess. But here's the blue one that I did yesterday. And here's my Monarch that I did yesterday. I think what we're going to do is glue this one, this one, and that one here on the bottom with it. And then I'll paint these four tomorrow. I think I will. I'm going to get my dreamer outlined here in a minute with white. I'm going to do it with white. So, I will see y'all tomorrow. 
Uh, I may go at 2.30, depending on what's going on in some of the groups. But I'll be on between 2 and 2.30 Central Time. Let me change my camera back so I can say bye. Y'all have a great afternoon. Thanks for joining me.